Hey guys, welcome back to Tools on a Budget. Um, today I'm going to do a video about the disassembly on this uh, HyperTuff 12 volt um, impact driver. Uh, this is the brush one. They do sell a brushless one. Um, I don't have that one here today, so we're going to do this one. Um, I do plan on buying the, the brushless one and comparing the brushless against this. Um, I don't know if you guys saw the video, but this one did pretty well, um, considering it's only boasting about 75, 78 foot pounds. I think it did well over 100. Um, not well over, but it did like, I think 120 or something like that. I'll double check my video. But um, I consider that pretty decent because, I mean, the size of these guns aren't really meant to like take off lug nuts and stuff like that. They're just like, um, you know, like a quick, like zip off a, a valve cover bolts bunch of little 10s 12s uh stuff of that nature um so let's go ahead and start taking it apart um let's see what kind of uh let's see how well built this is because i've told you guys before um i do love how this gun feels it doesn't feel that cheap at all i've i've been using it here and there um nothing too serious not, nothing like too big but so far i do like um the feel of it it's been pretty good uh, let me get a magnet so I don't lose these bolts. Let's start putting in here. Can't even get in there. Uh, so you have about one two three four five seven bolts to get in there oh and then uh three on the three in the front so i can't seem to get that one for some reason but yeah this gun uh so far has been pretty good um not i haven't found that many like quirks with it uh been just a decent little gun i used it to change some uh, motor mounts the other day on a i think like a 2005 altima i mean i didn't do it for the big bolts but i used it for like all the little stuff i had to do and it, it worked out pretty well let's see if i'll bring last two bolts i can't reach in there with this one let me get a different screwdriver i'll be right back all right so i found this one this one should fit in there a little bit better and it does by the way if you guys don't buy these uh harbor freight uh blue scr screwdrivers the blue and the red ones i think are their best ones i think it even tops their icon brand um i have a bunch of these just because how much i like them uh, they the tips do wear off eventually but i'm talking about a couple years or something like that um, I built computers on the side for uh, for a little side business, and then um, so I use these a lot. So I I've I've tried a bunch of different screwdrivers. Um, so far these are like the ones I've liked the best. And don't get me wrong, I've tried all the good brands. I've tried the Kleins. I've tried the. Uh, I even have I even had a snap on one. For some reason I didn't like it too much for the computer building side. Maybe for the mechanic side, it'd be a little bit good, but for building computers and stuff like that, electronics, um, these are the ones I really like the most. Especially when you get it, like, on a, I think you get them on special for, like, 10 bucks for a pack of, like, seven or eight of them. You get, like, the four flatheads and the four Phillips. I have the pack right here. I'll show you guys in a second. So, comes with these. Um... I've seen these for like $9.99. Uh, you probably get them cheaper with like a coupon. But I think these are like some of the, especially this one. Uh, I love that one, especially for like laptop repair and stuff. It, it's really good. All right, guys. So let's see. I think it has like a metal clip. Yeah. Let's see if I can get this off. There we go. Well, that's pretty nice that they have a metal clip on there. All right, so there you guys see the little, uh, it does use a nylon bushing or something like, something along those lines. Um, kind of nice to see it in uh, 
this small tool, especially at this price range. Uh, it does come pretty well greased. Uh, let me grab. Let me grab a glove. Oops. All right, so let's take this off. Um, it's a funny little hammer. I mean, what do you guys expect when this was like forty bucks within the combo kit? So you're probably only paying like twenty bucks for this driver. Um, it does look pretty well built. It has uh, the Milwaukee style encased uh, pins. We're using a what is it called, like a roller bearing. So it's not bad. See the using the planetary uh, gears to. Can't know. Did I miss a screw or? Oh, I missed another one of those clips. There we go. Hmm. It wants to stick. There we go. So it has a pretty simple design. Um, pretty clean though. Uh, not that much wiring just what they needed pretty much just what they needed Let's see if this is a brand name order uh, so there's a part number right here Let's see if you guys can see that It's RS550, 12 volt. I'm gonna look up that part number and I'll be right back. All right guys, so after doing a bit of research, um, this is a pretty uh, simple motor. Um, I did find them on, if you just search up Google for the RS550, 12 volt. Um, and if you live in China, this would probably be like $1.98. But uh, after you add shipping from AliExpress and all that, it's like, 10, it's like a $10 motor. So, I mean, you can replace this if you need if you need it if you would need to. Sorry, um, it uses a J level uh, switch. I've seen this in a lot of the Chinese tools. Uh, it has a MOSFET right here. It looks like it's conformally coated. I I did notice that it's a very simple battery design, uh, just a positive and a negative, no regulation whatsoever. So, um, it is a possibility you can overheat either the motor or the um the battery itself um i mean but you know what do you expect for this price point and i will keep using this over time to see uh see how it uh holds up i do believe this is glass fiber reinforced oh yeah Let's see pa6 gf30 so this is 30 percent glass fiber reinforced um they did a pretty good job with all the mode anchors here for the over uh the, the over molding um feels pretty good and honestly i didn't i didn't notice uh i didn't think this was like a cheap tool when i felt it in my hand for the first time like um let, let me see if i could it feels like up to par with even like the hercules so if you've ever felt one of these that's basically what like what these feel like um it's like a decent quality tool because um say what you say about hercules but they're decent little tools. Um, probably not the best, but not the worst either. Far from the worst, actually. Um, it does have like a little O-ring here to keep the grease. Probably to keep the grease in. Um, just a basic uh, planetary um, gear design, you know, to reduce the RPMs. This looks like a aluminum machine part. So over, overall, not a bad little design. I don't really want to take the collar off. I hate putting these back on. <laughs> so you guys can see, I mean, you guys can pretty much see the the hammer right there. I'm oh, sorry, the anvil. Oops. <laughs> I was assuming it still works after I'm done.
but yeah, it's, it's a it's a cool little tool. Um, after using it a bit, I do recommend it quite a bit, especially at the forty bucks for both of these. Um, I still got to use the drill to see how that one uh, compares against the the Warrior twelve volt. I, I want to do that comparison. I need to stop being lazy and go down to the hardware store and buy some uh, two by four so I can do like some uh, spade bit challenge. Probably like something small because. I doubt these will do like even like a three eighths bit spade bit. It might get stuck. Um, just drill some screws in. I'll probably get like a box of screws and see how many they'll do on the, on a full battery. Um, so stay tuned for that. Like I said, I just need to stop being lazy. <laughs> and it's just not that I'm lazy. It's just I've had a lot of stuff to do. But at the same time, um, probably just the laziness. Uh, so yeah, guys, stay tuned for those. Um, Actually, let me put this back together, and I'll be right back. All right, so I was able to put it back. Um. Oh, yeah, the, the, I do have one little pet peeve. Um, it does not have a fuel gauge. So you don't know if you're running on one bar, three bars, four bars, whatever. However, what kind of whatever system they use to uh, measure whatever's left, um, you do get a bar on the uh, the br the brushless ones, and the 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 ratchet does have a bar too, as you can see here, has a little bit of a fuel gauge. Um, but this one, it's the cheaper ones, like these two, uh, they don't they do not have one. Uh, maybe just like a cost saving method. Pro probably, most likely, that's it. As you guys saw, it's very simple inside. Um, pretty decently built. Nothing screams uh, horrendous in there. Nothing, nothing like uh, like I've seen some pretty bad ones before. This one's actually pretty decent. Um, actually, I want to take apart this one probably in my next video. I'll probably do an unboxing, and uh, so you guys can see. I'm pretty sure that's, that one's going to be pretty bad. Um, just by based off of Harbor Freight's old. What was it before the Warrior? It was like uh, like Dro the Drill Master. Uh, those things are pretty bad. Pretty pretty badly built. Um, so can't wait to get my hands on that drill to check that one out. And then I might take this one apart and compare the two. So that'll probably be my next video, um, before I go buy the wood and stuff. Uh, but yeah, guys, this is a great little tool. I don't, this is especially for the DIYer. If, if you're going to go, um, like everyday usage, I, um, I would probably pick the Hercules over this one because this one's built a little bit better. But for like people that don't do that many like that much car repair, or you and you can use this for just about anything. Um, you can like even hang a TV, you know, like you could drill your hole with a, with your uh, with your dr with your drill, and then uh, you could impact the the bigger bolts. So you can put um, you can hang like a TV wall mount or something. Um, this thing's pretty it's pretty versatile. Um, whereas this is a little bit stronger, so you'll be able to do a little bit more stuff, but this is probably just fine. Um, but like I said, if you're going to beat on this daily, then this is probably not the tool for you. This is more for, um, the people that are going to once in a while do something that's pretty, it's pretty good tool for them, especially when, cause it comes with a two year warranty. I'm pretty sure Walmart will stand behind it. Um, just save your receipt just in case, um, they might, they might save it on there, but. I would just save the receipt or take a picture of the receipt um, so you don't lose it. That way you do get the, the full two-year warranty and you shouldn't have anything to worry about. Um, but yeah, I, I can see this for like a, a homeowner, DIYer. Um, even if you like, even a weekend warrior, like if you want to, like every every weekend you want to work on your car, this is probably a great tool. Um, especially for the little stuff like 10 millimeters or if you're like into standard like the 3.8s. Even up to your, like your half inch um, bolts, so yeah, it's a pretty good tool. Uh, I would recommend this one, especially for the price. I don't think you can beat it. I think this is like the cheapest kit on the market right now, thirty nine dollars for a combo kit. You do only get one battery and a slow charger, but still for thirty nine bucks, I think that's pretty tough to beat. And um, I would keep my eye open. Um, somebody told me they've seen it for thirty four. I haven't myself, but uh, just keep your eye open, maybe. If it's at 34, I see it's even wait. Eh, that's an even better deal. Um, so keep an eye out for that if you're looking for something something simple. 
Um, I haven't used the drill yet. I'll let you guys know how that one is. Um, I know I've used the drill master version of this and it does feel pretty cheap. Um, this one doesn't feel as cheap. It feels a little bit more rugged. So I guess when I take them apart, we're going to see the difference. Um, so stay, stay tuned for that video. I'll probably film that tomorrow and then I might upload it like on Friday. But, but yeah, guys, um, remember, you guys, if you like this type of content, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you're not subscribed. And, uh, you know, if you want, if you have anything to ask, any type of questions about cars and stuff, um, go ahead and leave a comment and I'll try to get to it um, as soon as I can. I do, I do try to answer almost all my questions. Sometimes I'm a little bit slow, but I will answer it eventually. And uh, so, yeah, guys, um, have a great day and thanks for watching.